well, I'm really sorry um, that I had to cut that story out like that. And I was just thinking that everybody might have been wondering what happened to my dog that was in pain. And um, of course I was in the cell, so I could do nothing but leave her there until I finally got out. And she, I phoned my mother and my son came along and they took her, um, with the leash they took her to the car and she actually happily walked away with them and jumped in the car. Um, but they were taking her to the SPCA to have her put down. And obviously it was very upsetting. And I was very disturbed anyway because I have just got out of a cage myself. But she had been diagnosed with cancer, um, you know, quite a few months beforehand. And she only had a certain time to live because it, it, it was inoperable and she had been spoiled. So she had a good life. But when... I um, went to phone that is I went to phone my mother at the end of the day and she told me that she had taken the dog in and the vet had said to her that he will deal with her in a minute and um, to put he put her in a cage and well I just have to tell you this Sasha was a bit of a runaway dog and that's why I ended up with her. She was a naughty dog but very loving and very gentle and she did lots of tricks and we made movies together. But one day when she was a puppy in Hamilton the pound had picked her up and when I went to go and get her it was the next day because they had told me that she wasn't there but she was so she stayed overnight and when I got her I could hear her screaming and when I said to the the people even though there were lots of dogs there that's my dog that screaming dog um, I went they went and they got her for me so I put her in the car and she obviously didn't like the, the pound when I was driving her home she started to panic and for I realized that she needed to to get out of the car so I stopped and she jumped out of the car and she just weed for ages and she pooed and pooed and she had eaten nothing she hadn't weed she hadn't pooed she was just not a very happy dog inside the pound so when I heard that she was in a cage and being that I had just got a bit out of a cage myself I uh, was was pretty hard, um, pretty upset, and my mother said, "Well, he said it'd only be a minute. He was gonna," and I said, "Well, yeah. The problem is that you trust the vet, but I trust nobody, and that's why I, I didn't trust the police. As far as I knew, they were devils, and the government did nothing about it. And here's my mum trusting the vet, doctors, everybody letting me down. So." At that time, it was after hours and there was nothing I could do. And I just thought she might be in that cage, cold, in pain, and just hating it. And, you know, this was a horrible night. I didn't go to sleep until 10 o'clock the next day when I was assured that the vet had come back to work and put her to sleep. So that's what happened to the dog.